Welcome to a video entitled Deploying Roles. Now when we install Windows Server 2012 on a server, it installs Windows Server, but there's not a whole lot going on there. And to make any kind of functionality happen, to make this server really you know, provide a service on the network, we're going to have to add a server role or deploy a role to that server. Now there are two ways that you can go about adding roles to a server. One is to use Server Manager, which is what I'm going to demonstrate here in just a couple of seconds for you. You can also use PowerShell commands. Now I've mentioned PowerShell in passing a couple of times and you'll hear it a few more times. PowerShell is a command line environment that is way cool, way powerful. If you're using PowerShell, you love it probably uh, or not. But if you like command line control and all the options and control it can give you, the explicit control it can give you, you'll love PowerShell. But I'm not going to go into it right now because I don't want to turn this into a PowerShell course. But you can use PowerShell or Server Manager to deploy these roles. Now this is something I want you to watch for the exam specifically. Server Manager can deploy roles to both local and remote servers. So you can deploy a role to a remote server. Watch for this on the exam. You can only add roles and features to a remote server if that remote server is running Windows Server 2012. If it's running Windows Server 2003, 2008, or 2008 Release 2, you can't deploy roles. You can perform management tasks on it, but you can't add roles and features. So just watch for that on the exam. So let's jump out to the Start menu and kick off the Server Manager and I want to just show you real quickly how you would go about doing this in the interface. Now notice when Server Manager pops up, you have an area at the top. This is the dashboard and you can configure this local server or I can add roles and features. Now configuring it is a whole other thing we'll get into later. But if I click this link to add roles and features, notice it opened for me the add roles and features wizard. Well, I'm going to cancel that and show you that at the bottom of the screen here, it's showing me the roles and server groups that are already on this server. Notice I have file and storage services and print services. But what if I want to remove one of these services? Well, that's a little tricky. If I right click on it, well, it's given me a couple of options, but nothing about removing it. So I'm going to show you a little hint here. If I go to the manage item up here on this little menu in the upper right corner up here, if I click on Manage, you'll notice Add Roles and Features. This takes me to the very same wizard. Or I can choose Remove Roles and Features. And notice this takes me to the Remove Roles and Features wizard. So it's pretty straightforward. Very easy to add them and remove them. This time, let's go ahead. Notice on the Add Roles and Features wizard, I have the first page of the dialog box. It's telling me how to do a few things and some information I might need to know. Notice I can check this to skip this page by default in the future. And then if I hit Next, I can tell it that I want to do a role-based or feature-based installation or a remote desktop services installation. Notice one thing here. Use this on the exam. You can install roles and features on a running physical computer, a virtual machine, or an offline virtual hard disk, a VHD. So keep that in mind. Click Next. It's going to ask me and make sure which server do you want to uh, install a role or a feature. And I'm going to choose my server right here. It's already highlighted for me. I click Next. And there is my list of roles that I can add. And so at this point, I would choose the role that I want to add. And it says you want to add features that are required for this particular role. I chose Active Directory Certificate Services. And I can choose to add features and just continue to step through and notice that it's going to keep asking me more and more questions about features and those sorts of things. And then once I'm done, the role will be added, but I may have some additional configuration to do to that role before it's actually functional. But this is how we add roles to the machine. Pretty straightforward. Watch for questions about adding and removing roles on the exam.